Hi everybody, it's Tia. Um, just doing a quick application of moisture on the little ones here and I said um, I don't have anything like that in my video uh, repertoire. I wouldn't call it a tutorial, it was just me actually trying to resuscitate moisture into her here before we went to the movies. Um, and so I still needed a style for her because of course Miss Diva is not stepping out the house with um, hair that is not perfectly groomed. So anyways, um, this video just shows me going through each section patiently and letting the water saturate and ap applying uh, the Elastic QP olive oil and mango butter moisturizer. And I found that to be, at first, I was not happy with the way that it um, laid onto the hair, but eventually it actually... Um, penetrated and felt like it did do moisture it did moisturize so in the end I was happy with it but um, I went through section by section and I sprayed with a bottle of water uh, tea tree oil what else do I have in there jojoba oil if that's the way you say it <laughs> and um, there's something else. I think I wrote it on here. I can't recall right now, but that kind of mixture um, is is very good to as a base to um, go ahead and put some moisture. Well, that is moisture, but the hair definitely felt softer and um, moisturized after I did this quick thing here. And basically, I just did enough twists so that it could hold the moisture and I could still kind of put it into a style two ponytails out the door wish I could get away with that but anyways that's another story um, and yeah so that's all I wanted to show you guys for today hope um, this helps a little bit because I do show some ways that I have to without detangling you know finger detangle so I'll check back in so basically what I focused on was the ends um, the the shaft of her hair took the moisture easily the ends of her hair even though I have been cutting and trimming and cutting and trimming and that's a whole nother um, video in regards to why I had to do that but she's got um, clean ends so I I don't know what goes on um, I probably something with the pH but her ends or natural hair ends it's really a tough you know tough thing to moisturize so I made sure I focused on the ends waited a little while for the water to absorb by the hair shaft and then put the um, the elastic QP on there and it definitely made a difference when I did the twist I could see that it was moisturized but it just we just had to wait a little bit for it to absorb um you know what natural hair the task seems daunting when you look at the whole head <laughs> because I know hers definitely does um, but when it's once it's separated it it totally complies with anything you're trying to do with it really it's it's not that difficult it just looks daunting because it's so thick um, and so her hair this took me about 20 minutes max and that was because I was messing around with the camera so this is definitely something that can be done you know I just had to step back look at the bigger picture separate the hair and tackle it section by section. I did like about probably six sections. So with the weather changing we have to change our hair care regimen um, to ensure maximum moisture and moisture retention. Um, so it's definitely something to keep in mind um, when doing your little one's hair and your hair of course. <laughs> Alright guys thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.